Today I'm going to tell you guys about the onion black seed hair oil from Wow Skin Science. And I'm going to tell you guys whether I think that this is a great product or whether it is something that is not that good. Um, I'm going to give you guys it from both a professional point of view as well as a consumer point of view of what I think about the product, how I've experienced it, how it's worked or didn't work for me and really what I think at the end of the day with it or regarding it. So I'm going to tell you guys a little bit of the ingredients, why certain ingredients are there or whether the ingredients are good or not. So stay tuned and let's see what this oil is all about. Firstly, if this is your first time joining me on my channel and you want to find out more about how to love your skin and to treat it right, go ahead and click on that subscribe button as well as the bell so that you don't miss out on anything. So let's start with today's discussion. Okay, so this product I'm going to talk about is a product about wow skin science that everybody has been going absolutely crazy over. And this is the onion and the black seed hair oil. Now this is an absolute amazing product and it really does work with most of the things that it states that it will work. This oil is formulated specifically for hair loss, dry, damaged, frizzy hair. It also helps with graying of hair, although that is to be contemplated because graying of your hair is not always caused by external factors. Your genetics plays a huge role as well as stress and lifestyle plays a huge role in the way that your body, meaning your skin and that your hair ages. So that I can't really say that it does work specifically for that. It also helps with hair that looks um, dull, it looks lifeless, it just helps to give in that extra gloss and shine and just makes your hair look and feel healthy after using it. Now also, when you do use this product, it is something that needs to be used over a period of time without being interrupted by the use of any other products because it is natural ingredients, you need to give it time for it to work. That is why I've used this product for over two months now, I think. And that is the reason why I'm only doing a review of this product now for the reason of that I had to wait for it to actually work. The one thing I can definitely vouch for with this product is it definitely, definitely does work with hair loss. Since I've been using this product and I've also used the rest of this range as well, which I'm going to do reviews on a little bit later on. Since I've been using this, my hair fall is actually reduced to less than half of what it used to be, which is an absolute bonus. I mean, who doesn't want to reduce their hair loss? Even with the dull, lifeless looking of hair, especially with a lot of frizz, I've noticed that that has really decreased as well, meaning that my hair is also looking a lot more healthy and a lot more glossier. Let's look at the ingredients of this product. Now, a lot of people have been saying that this oil really stinks, it smells rancid, it's got a horrible smell. Even when you wash it off, the stink is still there, they can still smell it on them. I'll give you guys a reason of why and firstly when we look at the ingredients the ingredients was cold pressed meaning that the way that they've extracted the oils from the source there was no heat applied so by not applying heat it doesn't change the molecular structure and that is exactly what is needed because any at any given time when the molecular structure has been changed or altered that ingredient doesn't do what it is supposed to do. So all of the ingredients are cold pressed extracted, meaning that, like I said, there's no molecular structure change, so they will do exactly what they need to do. And the reason for this weird off smell that a lot of people have been complaining about is because of the carrier oil or the base oil, which is your sweet almond oil. Now, in the skincare industry, we call it the carrier oil or the base oil because when you do a special like your aroma massages, you use essential oils in the sweet almond oil because you can't use essential oils directly onto the skin. So this helps as a carrier for, as the name says, as a carrier oil. It helps with the carrier of the other oils that is included into it so that it actually can work into the skin and into the hair as this one is specifically formulated for. It also contains a little bit of 
your extra virgin olive oil which is sometimes also the cause of the smell because if you look at it a olive oil itself also sometimes have a bit of a odd smell it also contains jojoba oil as well as your moroccan argan oil which is another great ingredient for your hair it also contains let me just double check here um, your coconut oil, your onion seed oil, as well as your black seed oil. It's got vitamin E and it's got castor oil in it as well. Castor oil also sometimes can have a bit of a weird smell to it. But definitely the main reason for this smell is your sweet almond oil. Okay, so that is one thing with that. This oil is also, it is non-greasy, non-sticky, meaning that when it is applied, it doesn't just sit um, topically it actually absorbs into the scalp as well as into the hair that is why it's got such good results at the end of the day um, what else about this oil let me think okay so how you would use this and how I've used this oil is I use it about twice a week give and take average and if you look at this bottle you can see it's just under half and this is a 200 ml bottle for two months of usage twice a week this oil really does last and I mean I don't use a little bit I'm not stingy while using this oil and you I, well, I leave it on for about 15 to 20 minutes sometimes up to half an hour I find that if I leave it on for any longer I tend to get a bit of an itchy scalp and to prevent that I would rather just max it out to 30 minutes so how I would apply it is I would make like a middle path in my hair and I would do a couple of pumps and massage it into the scalp do another set just pump it through massage it in and then after i've done lines or like divisions of the hair all over i do a, a good couple of pumps about five to seven pumps in my hands rub it in my hands and then just rub it through from the roots to the tips of the hair massage it nicely into the scalp as well because that helps with the absorption and then i just leave it in they recommend that you also use a hot towel that you wrap your hair in because that also helps with the absorption of it although i haven't tried that one i must probably try that little trick and see how my hair reacts with that but otherwise by just using it in that manner my hair really has changed so much from when i started using it that even though i'm not using the hot towel um, procedure for it it still gave me very good results at the end of the day and what else is there? Let me just double check here. I think I've mentioned everything that I've wanted to. Okay, they say here also, um, I've just not seen there, they say also that you can use it overnight, so you can leave it in your hair for overnight. But like I said, I generally get a very itchy, irritated scalp if I leave it on for longer than half an hour. Okay, so this is your onion black seed hair oil. And I would definitely give this, so far, after using it for this amount of time, I would give it like a five out of five. I really like this. Maybe I'll give it like a four and a half out of five because of the smell. I'm not too fond of the smell, but I'm used to it as well because I've worked with oils smelling like this for a very long time. Um, so yeah, so definitely, this is definitely worth its costing because of how long it lasts. It's not something that will finish within the first couple of weeks, like four weeks or five weeks. Like I say, I've been using it now for just over two months. I think it's roughly about two and a half months. So that's uh, about 10 weeks that I've used this and my bottle has just gone under half. And I also, about once a week, every second week probably, I do apply to my daughter's hair as well and she's got nice long hair. So we all use this and the entire family is using this and we're all loving this hair oil. So definitely something to look into and to get yourself to get that hair look nice and lustrous and glossy and smooth and silky and just help with that hair loss because like I say the main reason or for me the main reason why I got this range is because of the hair loss that I used to suffer with and then of course with the damaged dry hair so if you guys have got anything you want to say if you've got any questions please drop them in the comments below and I'll get gladly back to you guys and answer whatever questions you've got and it can be anything regarding any hair products or any skincare products I will answer them for you so guys please remember to love your skin so your skin can love you back because you've only got one so look after it